Brandishing their little red books and declaring their loyalty to Chairman Mao, thousands gathered in Tiananmen Square in 1966 to herald the start of what will become one of the darkest and deadliest decades in Chinese history. Mao's youthful Red Army, the enforcers of a strict communist regime which sought to eradicate the educated and the elite. Yang Xiaoyan was one of 16 million children sent to the countryside. Mao had closed all schools and decreed farm work would replace education. I lost my youth. It was such hard labor with hardly any food, and all the time we had to chant Mao's slogans. There were beatings, rapes, and many deaths. Eight girls committed suicide because they were raped. It was a period of violent social upheaval, which subsequent Communist Party leaders have sought to airbrush from history. Public discussion and academic study of the Cultural Revolution is forbidden. In Beijing, Mao's Little Red Book has been relegated to a novelty souvenir in the city's tourist markets. A pop art image of his face used on fridge magnets, mugs and bags. But the Gao Brothers' art depicts a more sinister story. The title of this work is uh, Execution of Jesus. Six Chairman Maos form the firing squad. In one of several of their exhibits, the authorities have tried to shut down. In Cultural Revolution time. They are still fighting to find out the truth about how their father died in 1968. He was taken away as an enemy of the state and we were told he had killed himself, but we know he was beaten to death. Since Mao's death, the capitalism he sought to suppress has flourished. China now has a burgeoning middle class. Chairman Mao. Historian Zhang Li Fan says the country has learned to hide its grief. He saw several teachers killed in his neighborhood. The Cultural Revolution turned the society on itself. Sons killing fathers, students killing teachers. It will take centuries to recover from the damage and social chaos Mao inflicted. He may have failed to create a communist utopia, but the one-party system Mao built still governs today. The lasting legacy of a man whose revolution brought the country to its knees. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Beijing.